Greetings, celestial earth angelics of the new golden era of light. On this sixth day of March 2022, the energetics from the great central sun through Solaris is pulsing massive higher energetics into this realm to assist Gaia and humanity in this great ascension process. We had many waves flowing in today appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 38 hertz. Two pulses coming in at 40 hertz, another 38 hertz, creating an 1111 gateway activation, 42 hertz, and a massive blast at 49 hertz. 13 code of the Divine Feminine Goddess energy rising. We had another big blast coming in just before this recording at 49 hertz. Flowing in, creating a 1313 portal of the priestess of the new Lemuria, rising up, waking up. These are 5D gamma plasma waves flooding Mother Earth's electromagnetic fields with the new Earth upgraded energies. We also had a white solar cross of the Christos manifesting on the charts. This is symbolic of Christ's consciousness being transfigured into every living heart upon Pachamama. All sentient beings of pure light are being uplifted and ascended into the one true ascension timeline of bliss, peace, and prosperity for all. Nothing is stopping this great awakening and transformation into heaven upon earth. Now allow yourself to feel into and through these feelings, emotions, and flow of the higher light as we continue our journey through the zero point and into the pure land of enlightenment. The infinite Buddhas of infinite timelines and dimensions join us in this galactic process of transforming this realm into the paradise she has always evolved to become. Keep the faith in the divine plan of the Great Spirit and surrender into the power of this now to release and let go what no longer serves life. Let us embody and integrate all the new energies of God's universal cosmic consciousness for this ascension manifestation and quantum leap into the hue of luminosity. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And with these massive energies flowing in, we had many earth changes and activations all over this realm. Our ground crew team of the 144 in Australia reporting to us that many people are suffering in Australia too to this massive flooding. So please continue to flood Australia with the violet flame. Send your love, prayers, and blessings to our people and our tribes of Australia suffering due to these great earth changes and Mother Earth purging and cleansing. And let us continue to flood Russia and the Ukraine with the violet flame Continue to blaze and blaze, sending your highest love, your highest truth, and flood the EU with these rays of Saint Germain, and let it expand out to this whole realm, to this whole world, affecting and uplifting, transfiguring and transforming every living being of light in this sacred domain. We also had many activations all over this realm with 104 M1.5 or greater earthquakes all over Pachamama, the most powerful today in the root chakra, Pachamama, with the six zero South Sandwich Islands. Earlier today, New Zealand on the Ring of Fire 4.5, Council of Nine Energy, Kermadec Islands, Ring of Fire 5.1, 275 kilometers depth in the sacred portal of our beloved Africa in Uganda, in the western region on the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo, right on Lake Edward, we had a 4.6 activation. Up the spine, the Kundalini of Pachamama through South America, we had multiple activations right in a row. Argentina with a 5.5, 5 
Peru 4-0, Chile 4-1, and another 4-1, Argentina 5-5, Portal triple 5-5, as the trinity of the fifth dimension pulses through every living heart. Alaska, United States, Crown of Lemuria, 3.9, 12, Divine Feminine, Indonesia, 4-4. Four, four. Then the most powerful, South Sandwich Islands, 6-0 at 2014, UTC. Right when this massive blast of higher dimensional energy appearing on the Schumann charts, Akutan, Alaska, 3-0, the sacred portal, Afghanistan, 4.2, Philippine Islands, 4-2, Russia, Orlik, 4.4, Miyagi, Japan, 4.4, 4. Albania, 4.4, 4. Triple 4.4, 4. Portal, 888, Lionsgate, Lyra Nation coming in, then back down to South America and Peru, Andes Mountains, home of our sacred condors, another 4.2, the 555 5, 5 codes continue to flow in, Mid-Indian Ridge, 5.0, 10 kilometer depth, 5 into the 10. Southern Yukon Territory, Canada, 3.1. The whole grid again today, totally lit up, totally activated. Shifting Gaia into supernova activation of Terra Nova Gaia. Mothership of the Galactic Federation fleet. As she ascends, we ascend with her. Okay, in this powerful time of this great awakening, great activation... How do we end picking and choosing? This is how. In the heavens and upon the earth, I alone am the world honored one. I am honored by the world and the world is honored by me. There is no separation between the internal and the external, between the physical, the non-physical, between heaven and earth. For I and my mother, father, God are one. And the heavenly sun shines down upon all beings of light without hindrance, without judgment, without picking and choosing. And we shine our lights out into this world, way showers of the new earth, lighthouses guiding each other home to the kingdom of heaven within. We are the mirrors reflecting only truth, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now let us continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 10 degrees, 29 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 16 degrees, 34 minutes Pisces. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 17 degrees Pisces. An Easter promenade. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 11 degrees Taurus. A woman sprinkling flowers. From astrologyweekly.com and now my sacred condor pulls a card for you from the knowledge cards, Animal Spirits from Susan Boulay, 444, flowing in. The card she pulled for you today, very sacred and blessed, the dove. Symbology, sexuality, peace, divine inspiration. The dove has long been associated with female sexuality and maternity. Early pagans considered the dove a symbol of the female sex organs and Christian faiths in which the dove is primarily a symbol of peace and divine inspiration link the dove to sexual reproduction. Although Christ was born of a virgin, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit, which is represented by a dove. In Greek mythology, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, was born from the egg nurtured by a dove. In the painting, the dove is Aphrodite, who is embracing her son Eros, the god of love, and his wife, Psyche, who represents growth and integration. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Joanne Tracy, the sun is receiving a tremendous variation of solar streams in the form of highly refined electromagnetic frequencies from the cosmic founder source domains, directing plasma transmissions from the Pleiadian star system. These solar streams from the Pleiades are catalyzed by the return of Solar Christ Michael and Solar Christ Mary into dimensionalization and are filled with golden cube solar codes that are transmitting activations to the human crystal body and DNA. During this phase, the solar coded streams are building the crystal holographic architecture to prepare for the density shift that is occurring soon, which will radically change the base magnetism of the Earth and the Sun. 
heavenly Jerusalem. Through grid working, heavenly Jerusalem reveals to be the location of which one may access the cosmic cube matrix from the eye of God. This golden cube appears to hold the organic creator's instruction set for the earth element hexahedron and for the purpose of building crystal cathedrals and golden cities. From ascensionglossary.com From Divine Sister of the Light Laura Pleiadian Accessing your superpowers We are present with you on planet earth. We are the divine council of overseers. We are blessing your awareness for your personal greater union with all that you are already. The divine glory that exists eternally now is accessible for all through their heart. This divine marriage and mystical union, which has been sought after throughout the millennia, ironically already exists for you. The attempt to grasp something that one is not aware of, that seems out of reach, becomes counterintuitive. The very nature of divine power would be to most humans a sought-after superpower, which may include many different types of powers. Yet also for some, divine power does not exist in their awareness at all. Celestial power, unearthly power, psychic power, telepathy, psychokinesis among many, which may include metaphysical awareness, healing, transcendence, miracles, ascension, bilocation, and much more would be incomprehensible for most to imagine as real. Yet all these superpowers are held within your heart. They exist already, potentially dormant in the awareness of accessing them now. Your mystical union that unites you with your eternal you, that already exists as the ascended you, divine cosmic God self, is the uniting yourself on earth with all of your divine powers. When the conscious awareness of truly living in the moment becomes your way of being on earth, the floodgates of all that you are eternally begin to awaken within your own awareness. The shift in your awareness from that which is separate from you to that which you already are eternally is the very process of access and awakening to your mystical union, to your divine power, to your accessing your true superpowers. You have just temporarily forgot what you really are if you are not living as this now. All the codes, everything is in place for full activation as being the eternal one that you are now. Never on earth before has the magnitude of frequency reached this level as to activate most easily the most profound shifts incomprehensible for most on earth right now. We are speaking miracles. You let go of all perceptions of limitations, of all that has appeared separate from you. In this blessing of miracles for you, remembering all that you are, as you unite with your eternal, divine, cosmic God Self, and access your very own divine powers. We are present with you in divine love and glory now and eternally. From the new divinehumanity.com And from divine sister of the light Ramona Lappin, let go, surrender, empty yourself and let God's source fulfill you. Nothing to hold on to, brave souls, nothing to control, force, rush, worry or obsess about. Relax, become formless, timeless, just be, rebirthing your true, pure self until your healed wings are ready to fully open and fly. All else comes from here. Trust the process, divine timing and order of things. Hold on to and resist no thing. Accept all as it is, not how you'd like it or them to be. Then you can rewrite it all, the whole script, scene and story. Keep seeing the higher order that interconnects all things the divine plan behind it all. Trust that God's source has your back and a future in store for you better than you can possibly imagine. Let go of any fears, worries, and doubts that are keeping you the prisoner of your own mind. Still the endless chatter of your mind and keep dropping into the silence where much is being disclosed now. Being fully present with all that arises, all you truly need to know already within you. Most importantly, keep following your heart because it knows the way and holds the key to the sacred transformation. It is the key and the stargate to your soul and the divine. Become still and listen to its whispers. Become empty. Release the past and all need of identification with form so that your true essence can fulfill you. Let it all go to become one with the divine. 
let go and surrender to divine will and freedom is what you will remember you have always been fully awakening from the slumber and spells of eons past as our sight is being adjusted our perceptions start to change and mirror a different reality back to us as we change the way we look at things the things we look at start to change all from within us as our source codes and our dna ignite and our inner christos crystal avatar rebirths the new consciousness awakens echoes out and affects all as we see and remember the source within all we are no longer lost in the illusion letting go of all remaining anger fear frustration grief shame blame sadness loss and feelings of betrayal letting go of our false self to rebirth as our true self so love wisdom and compassion can take their place our true self fully remembered as a higher god consciousness now flows through our veins and its frequency reverberating out to all transcending and dissolving all remaining veils illusions and feelings of separation no longer afraid of what's reflected back at us as the mirror becomes clearer and clearer the more deeply we drop into our sacred hearts when we start seeing god reflected back to us in all things big and small that's when we've transcended all the false projections and inversions of the false and old alchemizing and transforming all through us back to love that's when we return to source reborn as one and have finally come home eternal love always ramona and from divine sister of the light karen lithica the calling of home can you feel the galactic chimes the vibrational light and antenna of light evolving awakening to the twilight years of humanity the light signal of home your birthing light like a vortex of light reaching you finding you a unique stream of light created in the universe the true light signal reaching you for it is part of the light metamorphosis reaching you to see a unique light path specifically for you encoded eons ago ready for this now moment see this reality like a cloak of light only one part of you the light mission before you to steer the path is the task before you affirm i am ready to receive higher light code initiations a calling of light the awakening of you sending a message of galactic advancement as you awaken to light love equal unity the arcturians and karen from karenlithica.com and from divine sister of the light judith kusul there is a hugely powerful activation happening in all starseed souls as well as all walk-ins from this universe as has happened at accelerated rate in the last few years as divinely decreed these are the activations of the expanded mission and special assignments these souls took on to fully activate and anchor in the new golden age in the new earth as we now accelerate into the higher fifth to seventh dimensional state there will be a deep triggering as you hear this into the depths of your soul the old earth matrix is being totally dismantled unplug yourself completely you are no longer who you were before remember the truth of who you are and step higher up into your mission the power of the new age is sweeping through humanity as more souls are awakening with this huge cosmic wave activation you will feel it in all your bodies we are going through a huge calibration and reconstruction now from judith com, and from the archangelic calendar gaia is in circe's will circe our galaxy acts upon the infinite universe's will which is yet a microcosm for infinitely expanding creator source the current setting is water spirit which would be southwest west and northwest if we wish to represent this directionally water is a cosmic force found throughout the cosmos and spirit incorporates all earthly elements and the unseen elements it is a beautiful day to savor it not because it will be a scarce occurrence but because it is something you and many others have worked hard to accomplish there is a significant victory in the energy of the macro as circumstances of positive persuasion become dominant there is a beautiful frequency on this day tune in the lunar reset along with the solar events have launched the calendar date into a giant leap that perfectly aligns with all of its moving parts there are signs that the calendar will expand to the ideal 18 days it's not too far away but not very soon either 
Legion and 5D News. Humanity has lost sight of the work ethic for the sake of the overall human progression. Lower dimensional personalities have become too self-oriented to push humanity to a new frontier. This is why we will see significant changes elsewhere. Much like any grouping, there is an Archangel Collective where all the personalities of the said group become one. You know you are functioning in the higher macro consciousness if you can speak to this collective much more effortlessly than in its smaller states. You are not a regular person, you are a gifted one. If you see something that draws a negative emotion in you, it's a call to action. It would be best to battle all things metaphysically that you encounter non-physically. To be noted, all things originate in the non-physical and nothing is above its command. There are great lessons to learn in how our reality functions. More incredible lessons are available when we choose to change said reality. When inspiration hits, drop what you are doing if possible and go with it. If a clear runway to action is not present, then allow the inspiration to gain momentum and regroup when ready. Always remember that you are a concept made by the mind of the highest aspect of creation. You are no accident. Many of us know our macro selves better than our micro selves. We must blend all aspects, therefore diving deep into your human factors is prudent. Light awareness is a skill needed by the would-be master. It's important to know that a sentient being has a specific light signature and its intentions also have specific light frequencies. Our efforts have set us up for a great future timeline. The tools and assignments are in a link in the description below. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Aura, the Goddess Circle. Mars enters Aquarius, March 6. Mars enters Aquarius, which can shake things up in our lives under these two rebellious aspects. When Mars is in Aquarius, we may be inspired to try something new, make a dramatic change, or move in a new direction suddenly. Independence can be very important to us during this time, as can our freedom. This can be a good time to move towards what you want, but make sure that risks are calculated from the goddesscircle.net and from Divine Energy Works. March 6, 2022, Venus and Mars conjunction at zero degrees Aquarius, the sacred merge. This is the final of triple Venus-Mars conjunctions of 2021 through 2022, with the first one on July 13th, 2021 in Leo, and the second one on February 16th, 2022 in Capricorn. The Venus-Mars conjunction of 2022 kicked off on February 1st, where the two planets will hold hands for about two months, which is unusually long. Venus, the planet that energetically rules the divine feminine energy, and Mars that energetically rules the divine masculine energy, are meeting again in the sacred merge of the cosmic lovers on March 6th. 366 portal day when they simultaneously enter the revolutionary sign of Aquarius and conjunct it at zero degrees of the sign the exact same degree of the Saturn Jupiter conjunction on December 21st 2020 zero point energy of the infinite potential and possibilities this is the energy of the destined events powerful energetic shifts and the divine counterparts connections and very powerful new beginnings both on energetically and physical levels, extremely powerful light codes and activations with Schumann resonance currently blasting off, crown chakra and 8 through 12 chakra activations, kundalini activations, higher heart and joined soul mission activations are pouring in connection with the sacred merge, the energy of clarity and expansion, transformation and change, balance new beginnings and unconditional love frequencies and immense assistance to humanity during this global awakening and ascension process. And from Divine Sister of the Light Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, at this time we find ourselves still integrating the energies from the 2222 portal, a portal that opened the gates for many healing energies to assist us moving forward into our task of inner synthesis. Tomorrow and in the following days, we too are going to have other cosmic forces, Mars and Venus and Aquarius together with Vesta in the same sign on March 10th, helping us to progress in our personal mission of integration, which is nothing but the conscious embodiment and unification of the different opposites that lie within ourselves. 
We are at a crucial time in our transition, a time for us to continue working and bringing more unity to ourselves as we spread this same harmony outside. There are many distractions, fears, terror being infused to all of us, trying to distract us from continuing our inner work of polarity integration. This is where we need to be stronger and wiser and only focus our precious energy where required, which does not mean at all ignoring what is taking place, as we need to become active participants in spreading more love and assistance in any way we can. This is challenging, as we need to become neutral witnesses at the same time that we do our best to participate from a total space of love and respect. On March 6, we have two important planetary events occurring. Mars and Venus enters Aquarius. Aquarian, Piscean, and Virgo energies are going to surround us this month to help us liberate ourselves, heal and reclaim our sovereignty and mission afterward when we are in an inner state of clarity to receive and be able to process our mission, for it is something that is gradually integrated as we evolve. Before looking at both Mars and Venus individually, it is important to notice that Mars, who represents the masculine essence within us, and Venus as well as Vesta, the feminine one, together in a wonderful opportunity for us to continue working on the synthesis of both opposites, which are not just about feminine and masculine, but about not going into extremes, judging, labeling, criticizing. On a more individual level, Mars and Aquarius is going to be of great assistance for us to express our hearts, energy, and the unique essence that we uniquely hold within, bravely and respectfully. Mars's fierceness and free Aquarius represents how we express ourselves in the world, as we are leaders in charge of our own lives. Or are we still slaves? Are we freely being who we are, or are we still living in fear of doing so? This is about putting yourself out as well as your dreams and goals, going after what you truly desire, freely and sensibly. Venus's frequency in Aquarius is one of universal love for all to remember the importance of our true nature and the liberation that is already happening planetarily speaking and that is only the beginning of a long process of conscious liberation for eons of slavery a process that as we are already seeing rejects by creating more horror and by trying to continue subduing others to their egoic's will this is what this transition involves chaos and often confusion and desperation However, when we are aligned with our God Self and know that our higher will is always to create more love, all challenges are opportunities for us to continue with our personal mission. The message from the cosmos is to help us remember that we are all love and that love lives in freedom, as it is only by setting all free that we can truly love. This is what humanity as a collective is regaining now, the remembrance of what divine love and unity truly mean. Sometimes as we live in a world of opposites, we experience what unlove is, so we can remember again who we truly are. It is always about remembering how to come back home, after all, whether we choose the loving way or the unloving and harder one. We are all heading into a space where freedom and the right to express our hearts is law, as where we are heading there is no one or outer force that can impede us to do so. For in the illumined realms there are no opposites or the need to fight for control, as love reigns and there is no opposite, as this is the only frequency that exists and that we have chosen to hold. Let us be compassionate with those who have chosen differently, for in their choice their souls already suffer from a profound sense of separation and hatred. Let us continue choosing to be in the love that we are for ourselves and for all, let us continue holding the vision of the new harmonic reality that has already been created. With infinite love and peace, Natalia Alba from StarseedSoul.com And from here in the Moon Astrology, Sunday, March 6, 2022, a great turning point. Astrology is a weather forecast, not a prediction of outcomes. We have free will to adapt and respond to the planetary weather. And to those who keep asking, when will all this change stop? It's the new normal. Last week, the entire globe experienced a huge reality check. The shocking events were catalyzed by the Pluto-Mars-Venus conjunction in Capricorn, aligned with disruptor Eris and the karmic note of fate, magnified by Jupiter, Nessus, Neptune at the Pisces new moon, permanently dissolving old illusions of security. 
Today, March 6, Mars and Venus move away from Pluto and enter air sign Aquarius. Mercury aligns with the note of fate in the galactic center before entering Pisces on the 9th, so international communication back channels will be hyperactive. Great eliminator Pluto and Capricorn is trying the karmic note of fate in Taurus until August. From March to mid-May, the gas giants Jupiter and Neptune, once in 166 years conjunction in Pisces, dissolves old boundaries and blows everything out of the water, including good judgment and rationality. Even more significantly, Lord of Time and Karma Saturn and Aquarius is squaring the nodes of fate in Taurus, exact on April 17th, ahead of the Taurus solar eclipse conjunct volatile Uranus on April 30th. After the eclipse at the end of April, the energy shifts as Jupiter enters Aries. Hold on to your hats, followed by the Scorpio lunar eclipse in May. Then things really start to get interesting as the Uranus conjunction to the node of fate closes in. Disruptor Eris is at the midpoint of Neptune in Pisces and the node of fate in Taurus. The Saturn-Uranus square, the struggle between democracy and authoritarianism, forms a T-square with the nodes and will be triggered all year by any planet moving through the fixed signs on Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. But things will really kick off once Uranus and the node are within orb of being conjunct from late April. The exact conjunction happens on the 31st of July and Mars joins them the next day. This marks the turning point of the year. We won't be able to avoid change from this point forwards. Uranus transiting Taurus, the economy, food, harvests, trade, and supply chains is bringing shock and disruption to multiple areas of our lives. Globalism continues to collapse, both the ideology and the practical logistics of it, and the financial bubble it relies on may finally be about to burst. The epicenter of that implosion will be the EU as its chart is in the firing line of the new Taurus-Scorpio eclipse cycle especially its Scorpio fourth house packed with Sun, Mercury, Mars, and Pluto. At the same time, the U.S. is currently beginning its first karmic Pluto return at 27 degrees Capricorn since the Founding Fathers. From here in the moon, astrology.co.uk. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus conjunct Mars and Aquarius. Both Venus and Mars enter Aquarius today. Venus has been in Capricorn since early November last year, so this is a significant shift. What we value now is freedom, friendship, innovation, humanitarianism, progress. Mars in Aquarius fights for liberty, heads the team, forges allies. Occasionally hot-headed though, Mars can stir up trouble if too pushy, too aggressive. The meeting between Mars and Venus today may help to temper some of the more impulsive energies of Mars and asks us to look for ways to bring people together. Venus can join Pluto three times due to her retrograde period, so anything that was not love was stripped away. Now we know what is important. Now things are different. Now we know the truth. Now we are awake. Now is the time to act from the heart. Mars in Aquarius is at its highest expression, wants to make a difference. To the people, to society. Shared goals mean we are stronger together. Venus offers the hand of friendship. Love your fellow humans with all the fire you can muster. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 187, Blue, Overtone Hand. Overtone is the name for the number five and its keywords are Empower, Radiance, and Command. The fifth day of the blue night wave spell is when things start to get very interesting. May you feel the power and enjoy the boost it gives. Today is the blue hand and it represents healing, accomplishment, and inner knowing. It's a very helpful combination today as you can accomplish healing and that can be very empowering or you can put your hands to good use. If you offer your helping hands to heal others, that will feel very empowering too. Give today a big round of applause. I salute you all. The guide today is the blue eagle which sees things from a higher perspective. Eagle is one of the most helpful guides. Imagine you are on a journey and the eagle flies ahead to check things out It returns to show you which way to go. Follow the eagle and you won't get lost. When the eagle guides the day, you can expect to have visions and to discover creative solutions to current issues. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Blue Overtone Hand, 5 Manique, 
Keen 187, 6th of March 2022, Radiant Accomplishment. 63 2022 equals 636 equals 69 equals 15 equals 6. 66 Heaven's Gate Portal. Day Code 6 Heaven Christ Family Romance Fertility. 15 Spiritual Alchemy Charisma Magnetism. Month Year Codes 369 Nikola Tesla Code. 3 Holy Trinity Joy Happiness Creativity Communication. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 187 equals 16 equals 7. Mystic, Magic, Spiritual, Solitude. 369. Nikola Tesla, Magic Codes, Galore, Divine Energy, Streaming Forth Today. A very potent magical day of immense visionary healing. Day 5 in the blue night wave spell of dreams, intuition, and abundance, where we are collectively dreaming our new world into reality. Today brings the power of healing through our capacity to see what was previously hidden in the undercurrents of the collective unconscious, so that we can accomplish our collective dreaming. Tone of creation, overtone, tone 5 in the spiritual realm. Action commands, power and powers, essence, radiance. Number five represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and then radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul essence through a pure connection to source. This is the true source of unlimited power. Today we can draw upon the power through Pachamama to anchor and radiate our own personal soul's power, radiant empowerment. Allow the pure flow of consciousness to flow through your being, connecting you to Gaia and the cosmos through these evolutionary times. A very powerful day to fully ground the cosmic gifts of radiant empowerment afforded through our Pachamama. Today's question is what can I see and uncover in the depths of the abyss to command radiant healing and empowerment of my greatest dreams. Divine blessings for becoming abundantly empowered. In La Ketch a la Keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 187, Blue Overtone Hand. The mantra the code for today is, I empower in order to know. Commanding healing, I seal the store of accomplishment. With the overtone tone of radiance, I am guided by the power of vision. And on this powerful day of visions, activations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to thank everyone that continues to support us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges on Patreon and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you find value in our daily transmissions and our teachings, you can support us and vote for us to continue doing this work with a pledge on Patreon at whitegoldeagle.com or a donation to our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. And thank you to all of you that continue to support us in our work. And we hope to continue serving all of you until we're fully living and breathing 5D. I'd like to thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Lynn Ogdal, for your purchase today. Thank you very much. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. She has a 30% off sale until March 23rd, so be sure to take advantage of that and we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from Divine Brother of the Light, David Alexander Lightfoot, Ascension Affirmation Prayer. 
their father, mother, creator, God, the ascended masters, the archangels, and my highest love and light support team, I am ready and willing to ascend to the fifth dimension. Please remove from me all lower vibrational negative energies, hooks, cords, programming, beliefs, attachments, tags, entities, implants, vows, and old soul contracts that are holding me back from ascending and receiving divine guidance. Please remove from me all connections to the third dimensional matrix related to fear, hate, jealousy, violence, abuse, victim consciousness, narcissistic consciousness, lack, mind control, and codependency. Please help me ascend to the fifth dimension and connect with the divine mind, the matrix of higher dimensional love and unconditional love. It is my deepest wish and soul calling to live a higher dimensional life of love, peace, harmony, health, creativity, abundance, joy, and the fulfillment of the divine plan for all. Thank you, and so it is. Amen. 444 coming in. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. One last thing before I bid you all adieu. What is coming through directly from God, Source, Creator, the Great Mystery, is that the Source itself is love. And this love goes by many names, energy, God, truth, Buddha, the Tao, the way, and anything that tries to cover up love, that tries to add to or subtract, is a distraction. A distraction from your true self, your true essence. For all things emanate from love and return to love. This is the way, the way in. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.